Hello, what's up? I hope you're doing well. Happy 2024, first of all. Second of all, I'm personally in such a good mood. We are talking about one of my all-time favorite subjects today, Taylor Swift, specifically her style. And I am not a Taylor Swift style hater. Like, I like her outfits. However, I do think it could be fun to play around with the concept of like, but what if? she wore this. A concept where I basically put together a few outfits that I would love to see her in. Again, I really do like her like street style right now. I think it makes sense for her. I think that it's very attainable. It's easy to recreate. It's very much so outfits that I would see out and about where I live, I feel like. And all in all, I feel like it really does make sense for her specifically. Also, I feel like not everyone wants to stand out in their style and like experiment with it a lot. And I feel like she's always kind of been there. Like she's always kind of been more reserved with her style and more casual, um, even back into like her country days or her tweet era, for instance. I feel like nothing's like coming to mind that is really experimental or anything. Aside from her stage looks, which are in a realm of their own, I love them, but I feel like that's where she really experiments the most. Again, that's one of the things I love about her. I feel like it makes her seem more down to earth and just like kind of, again, just more like one of us kind of thing. And I feel like that's maybe what it's supposed to be, but like, you know what I mean? So that being said, the looks that I chose today are probably just looks that she would hate or not wear, um, but it's kind of in my dreamland. If I were a stylist and I had unlimited budget and connections, this is how I would style Taylor Swift. Also, I definitely didn't create this concept by any means. I've been seeing it floating around the internet all over, really. Or I guess just the discussion of her style. There are actually Instagram accounts that are dedicated to this very subject and this one being uh, You Belong In This. I love this page so much and basically it's just restyling Taylor in a bunch of different like designer looks from head to toe, street style, just very much so, again, just looks that we don't see her in a lot. And I actually just saw Robin, Girl Boss Town, post a little video on what she would style Taylor Swift in for like New Year's Eve or what she would have loved to see her in. And like, these looks are so good. Personally, I'd die if I saw her in something Sandy Liang, Acne Studios. Shu Shu and Tong, or any of these looks from like vintage runway shows. I love all of these for her. Now down to the nitty gritty. These are some of the looks that I've personally put together for her. Starting with this beautiful head to toe tonal look with a little pop of color in it. Obviously I love a pop of color. And so I'm starting off with this Jacques Moves jacket and the matching shorts. I feel like this color palette is very Midnight's to me. Um, and like definitely like what I, a thought in my head Midnight's could be. As far as, I don't know why, I always think of this color palette as kind of 70s-ish. Anyway, we have these sheer knee highs, which I personally love that they're having a moment. I think it's so cool. It adds such a fun element to me and I just really like the way it like pulls the look together. And then of course some slingbacks with it because I think that first of all, this color of yellow, again with the brown, I can't get over it. Or what about these polka dot ones? What about that? Again, I don't know if I've ever even seen Taylor Swift in polka dots, but again, this is my dream. And this one seems very much so like going out-esque to me. Like she's on the town with her friends, Gigi Hadid's walking next to her in like a full black leather jacket and boots kind of thing. Another little going out outfit, which I feel like I have maybe seen her in something like this previously, maybe recently, honestly, but this coat, I love a good fuzzy coat like this. Again, I'm kind of very into a tonal look right now with a pop of color. So of course that's kind of what a lot of these are, but I really like this jacket. I think it's Sand Studios. As for shoe options, I have a f a options. First off, what about this butter boot, this buttery yellow boot? I think that would look so good. Also so good on her. I feel like her like features, her neutrals, and then also this like pale yellow shade and this blue shade. I love this blue shade on just about everyone and anyone. I It's just maybe one of my favorite colors, so maybe I'm just saying that, but I really, really like this. And so I think like a shoe like this could be really fun paired with a similar toned tight like this. I think that could be a really cool look for her. And just in general, a look that I wish I had in my closet. I would die over this. I obviously had to add a cape outfit into here. And so I found this really beautiful one. I'm pretty sure it's Gucci and it's gorgeous. I love this really nice creamy ivory shade. And then with the belt and then also with these boots. Again, I'm kind of in the same realm here with all these outfits, but I really feel like this, or like I guess 2023 especially, she really was in a lot of neutrals. And um, so I kind of leaned into that and tried to make these outfits fun, but also still like wearable and neutral. And so I don't know, I love this combination. I think any color boot with, will look really cool with this. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure she was pictured in a lot of Doan pieces this past summer. And so I saw this Doan ad, this dress, and I was like, how cute would this be on Taylor? So I don't know, all of these are kind of giving like very much so, what's the mom from Gossip Girl's name, but in real life, Lily, but again, in real life, her style is impeccable. And this is, I feel like that vibe would fit Taylor very well. So Taylor, 
<laughs> Taylor literally just told me that she wanted an outfit dedicated to a Chiefs game. What can I wear to a Chiefs game that I haven't worn already that's cute, still representing my, you know, man? And yeah, I, well, since you've asked, Taylor, I have put together this. I've put together this outfit just for you. This vintage Chiefs jacket, I think is so sick. I love a satin like bomber jacket like this. I think this would be really cool. And then also paired with, she's wearing a lot of plaid skirts lately, I feel like. And I think like this Prada mini skirt is so epic to me. I think it's so nice and streamlined. I think it's cute. And I think, um, again, she likes mini skirts. So I'm gonna feed into that. And I think this mix with the kind of jacket like this, maybe even like a little slouchy sock from Le bon shop that goes up to the ankle, a little bit over it with loafers. I feel like this outfit screams sports to me without screaming sports, you know? Another little casual outfit here that I'm gonna throw in. I, this one is definitely going to be controversial just because I think the pants that I've chose are controversial. Um, and so I think this kind of cardigan, just a nice chill, fuzzy cardigan like this, a mohair kind of just oversized and baggy and loose with a white tee under like this, minimal jewelry, just like this with her hair up, very chill. And then with the jeans, again, highly doubt she, I, we will see her in anything of this sort. The girl can try. Again, just from what I've read on comments on Instagram and things like this, I know that these jeans are controversial, but I personally love a good balloon style. What are they called? Horseshoe jean. I think this would be really cute. And again, in a light wash like this um, with this pair of satiny pink ballet flats. I love her in ballet flats. I think I've only seen her in ballet flats at the Ayers tour, like when she's performing for folklore, I'm pretty sure she wears them forevermore. I don't know, but I love ballet flats and I love her in ballet flats. So I think this outfit to me is very much so casual, chill girl again, but I just really, really like it. This one is giving very much so like Orion Carlotto, which is also an aesthetic that I personally think would really suit Taylor. And again, gives me very much so folklore evermore, living in the woods, very, ethereal, fairy-like, being minimal. Like I don't use electricity, nothing like that. So here we have these lacy kind of like sleep shorts, which I think are just so sweet. And I think in the summertime are just, just, I love them. These paired with a really pretty blouse from Doen. And I just think that this kind of pairing looks so good with rain boots. I know this is just an outfit I personally really like. And so I just wanted to throw this in here and um, these black hunter boots with the white, I, a nice black and white outfit. And then maybe even with some knee socks, I found these cute little knee socks that I think would be cute too. So like that with her wavy hair again in braids, like I'm just, I just personally really seriously haven't moved from Evermore folklore. So I'm really like, I had to put this one in here. So as we sit here, let's just imagine that these looks were worn during Midnight's era and I, how iconic that would have been specifically these 70s looks these are all pulled from the past that i think would have suited the era so well but also her so well i think they're really fun um and the color palette of all of these is really like interesting to me for that era again with all of the artwork from like that album i feel like this is just where my brain was mentally fashion wise like this red dress sparkles so good so good like a deep red like this this diana ross dress to me, like I, I just saw this picture and it was very reminiscent to me of like when she showed up at the 1975 show, which that is etched into my brain. This look is probably my all time favorite Taylor look of ever. I just think that again, the look suited her so well. It was something different. And I just, I love, love it on her. I don't know. Also the way her hair was, her shoes, and also just the fact that she was there. Also a little soft mention for these two outfits right here. Um, I I have a jacket similar to this, like it's like a vintage Carhartt. I would love to see her in something like this and I think it would look really cool on her. Um, and then with like a little pleated skirt, cause she's very into pleated skirts right now. I, I just love this pairing and um, the Sandy Lang one has my heart. And on the final note, actually while I was doing research for this video, I saw one of her recent looks that I really like. It's just very put together. I, my version of that was to add like a little pizzazz with this top that I really love from the line by K. It has this little like bubble hem and the sleeves and I think it's so cute. And so again, with some like black sheer tights, this kind of mini skirt, and then like some boots like this. I don't know, I just think it would be really cool. So yeah, I don't know. Now that I was going through all of those, I'm kind of like, were those too boring? But I don't think so because I want it to be realistic. And again, I feel like she doesn't wear like a lot of super uh, loud colors or loud patterns. And so I wanted to kind of tailor it down to like, again, if I were Taylor Swift, what I would wear. And this is exactly what I would wear. And I think it would be fun. It's really fun to like shop on an unlimited budget or just like 
kind of put together a concept like this where it's just like concept of wearing whatever you want, literally whatever price tag, it excites me a little bit. So I had a lot of fun going through these designer pieces, um, but all in all, again, no hate to whatever she's wearing now. I think she looks cute always, but I also can acknowledge that I am super far up. I noticed anything different about my setup. Does it look weird in any way? Were you looking at it? Like what is wrong with her setup? Well, this is the reality. I finally got a green screen. I thought it could be fun to play around with. So let me know if you like it. Let me know if you hate it. Let me know if you liked this video and like this concept in general. I would love to do it for other celebrities, but I of course had to start with my top tier celebrity. So I hope you guys have a really good rest of your day. Happy new year. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe also if you are not already subscribed and I'll see you soon. Bye. I wanted to have her here, but she would have been like a little bit cut off, you know? Maybe I should have just done this.